Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no-obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. In the other videos which comprise this Vaulty end-to-end -end architecture module, we consider the standalone aspects of the end-to-end Vaulty -end architecture. So we looked at LTE, we also looked at IMS and policy and charging control. Now this session is designed to tie all of those together and show how they all connect with one another on an end-to-end Vaulty -end call scenario. And there's one diagram that we can use to outline this fact. Now this diagram is also in the reference document that accompanies this particular video module. So this diagram, as you can appreciate, is a complicated diagram, but Vaulty is a complicated end-to-end -end network architecture. So we're just going to go around this diagram to try and orientate in LTE versus policy and charging control versus IMS. Now the first point to note is Right in the center of the diagram, we can see the connectivity that the phone has to the IMS. Now, this is the GM reference point. It's carrying our SIP signaling. But remember that, in actual fact, that GM reference point is comprised of our LTE architecture. So you can see the E node B onto the serving gateway and onto the PDN gateway. Now, this would be our calling party leg of the call. So beyond the PDN gateway, the next interface that we have is the SGI interface, which connects us into our proxy call session control function, our first IMS network element. But remember, connecting the two networks together, the IMS to the LTE network, connecting things together at a session level is our policy and charging rules function and our policy and charging enforcement function as well. Now, as we move into the IMS, you can see the likes of the access transfer control function. Remember that our media stream is going to get anchored at the access transfer gateway. So notice on the diagram in purple, you can see the MB reference points connecting up our user planes. So mobile to access transfer gateway, then between access transfer gateways and then access transfer gateway to the call party. We can move into our IMS and we see the main elements of our IMS that we discussed. So we've got the likes of the interrogating call session control function on the left and the serving call session control function on the right. You can also see the HSS involved there as well. And crucially, we need our application servers. We need a TAS and we need an SCC application server. And what we've covered so far are all of the elements that really comprise the calling leg of the call, the calling party leg of the call. If we move to the call party, well, in fact, it's more or less a mirror image of what we've discussed so far. So if you look, we've got the interrogating call session control function, and we've also got the serving call session control function and the associated called party application servers. As we move through the network, we've got the call parties, access transfer control function and gateway. And moving down, we've got the call parties policy and charging control framework. And finally, their LTE access network. Now, this diagram could apply to a network to network call. So this is the kind of architecture you would see between two different Vaulty network providers. But this could also easily apply to calls taking place on the same network. You would still need the same architecture. Now the only time things would get confusing on an architectural diagram like this would be when our calling and our called party start sharing nodes. So they could actually be in the same cell, for example which could mean that they're using exactly the same E node B and serving gateway and P gateway. And it might even mean that they're using the same proxy, the same policy and charging control elements, and so on and so forth. So sometimes when you look at end-to-end -end signaling flows to do with Vaulty, they aren't as, as clear-cut as this particular architectural diagram. 
But as mentioned at the beginning of this session, hopefully from this, you can see how the LTE side of things, the PCC side of things, and the IMS side of things are all integrated together in one overall network diagram. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training? Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.